Uh, my name is Mike Dunleavy. I was born in Fort Worth, Texas. I generally say my hometown is Portland, Oregon because that's where I went to high school, but really I'm from all over the place. Uh, we've moved around a lot. Every three, four years, uh, we're picking up and moving somewhere. It was something we all got used to. It made us closer as a family. Being on a basketball team was, was great. It's a great way to make friends, to have teammates, and kind of get acclimated to the new, new city. My poor mom, <laughs> she's, had, she's had to deal with uh, three boys and a husband who, it's been all basketball, basketball, basketball. Ever since I had diapers on, uh, I've, I've played basketball. Obviously, with my dad playing growing up, um, it was something that was just a part of my life instantly. My grandfather was a big fan of baseball. Growing up, my dad played a bunch of sports, but his best sports were basketball and baseball. And one day he came home in high school and uh, he told his dad that he, think, he thought he needed to pick a sport to, to concentrate on. And um, you know, my grandfather sure enough thought, okay, he's gonna finally choose the right one and pick baseball and my son's gonna be a major league baseball player. Now my dad decided to go with basketball, kind of threw everybody off. I use a shorter guy, 6'1", not very fast, not very quick, but somehow somebody made it. Had an NBA career, I was born, and I've had an NBA career, so it's been a pretty cool thing in our family. Growing up, I was, I was tall. Um, I, I kind of sprouted up early and then leveled off. And then in high school, I grew uh, about seven or eight inches. I was 5'10 as a freshman in high school. I played point guard on the team. And then by the time I was a senior, I was about 6'7". From day one, I've always, I've always wanted to follow my dad's footsteps and be an NBA basketball player. He wasn't somebody who forced it upon me. That was a great thing about it. It was something that I learned to love, but also had the ability to lean on him for things. You know, he showed me things in the backyard. He took me to practices, took me to games. All those experiences definitely shaped who I am as a basketball player. My desire to beat him in one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, that's always something a dad and a, and a son battle with over the years. And um, I, I was a pretty good player my freshman and sophomore year in high school, but I couldn't beat my dad in one-on-one -on -one yet. And he was, you know, 40, 50 years old. Uh, so this is the hump that I always was trying to get over. And there was that one time where I finally got him and he was slowing down. He, he had a bad knee and a bad back and everything was kind of falling apart. And I was getting bigger and stronger and better. So I finally reached that point and that was the last time, you know, we ever played because I think he knew right then and there it was never going to be good for him anymore. I mean, it, it's as good of a feeling as you, you'll ever have playing basketball. I mean, I've won a national championship. Um, I've been drafted to the NBA. I've had a lot of great wins. Uh, in basketball, but that's certainly one I always remember and it means a lot to me. Obviously everything in our family was basketball, basketball, basketball. And my mom was the one who always pushed you know, the other things. She always told me make sure you broaden your horizons. So whether it be with school or travel or reading books, my mom was the one always pushing that. Growing up in Milwaukee, you can't help but you know appreciate beer, understand the history behind it, and uh, got into it a little bit and started learning about the process. It became kind of a hobby and a fascination for me. So I've kind of you know, developed these appreciations for cold beverages. It's a lot like any other hobbies that people have and enjoy. Understanding how, how it's made, the process it goes through, to be able to taste and try them and appreciate them. You develop a palate and, you, and, and things kind of open up for you. The first thing you notice in or around a brewery is the smell. I find it be like almost like a chocolatey smell. You know, it smells like they're making chocolate nearby and it's that yeast. It takes a long time and that's the same way with you know, building a team throughout the course of an NBA season. So uh, the, the parallels and similarities are all there. Craftsmanship of beer and uh, you know, long range shooting go hand in hand. Uh, and they both involve a lot of fine detail, a lot of little things that go into it, but there's nothing better than the finished product. When you see that ball going right through the net or you taste a nice beer after it's been brewed for a while, yeah, nothing better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.